All right, guys. What's up? We're back again. First was the, the Butterfinger. Now we're on to some Chinese food, okay? Exactly. All right, so what we're working with is a bunch of my friends and I have been talking about the difference between lo mein and chow mein. Apparently there's this huge controversy over West Coast chow mein, East Coast chow mein. East Coast is a lo mein. It's basically a similar idea, I think, to what the West Coast chow mein is. Okay, uh, we're going to try to get a little, a uh, few more views than my friend Sheffy did on his last video. Um, shout out, shout out to uh, C Chef, you know. Um, but here we go, let's just get into it. We have your typical Chinese food container. This has got the lo mein in it, and it's exactly what I think of when I, when I see lo mein. All right, so pretty greasy, pretty oily, but also delicious. Um, it's got some sort of like maybe Napa cabbage in there. This is chicken lo mein, um, some shredded carrots, uh, a bit of onion, little sprouts. This is, this is just classic. This is from Golda, China in Hyattsville. This is my go-to Chinese place. We're, uh, just give you a, a little zoom in there, a little close up of what the situation is. All right. Um, we're just going to go ahead and give it a bite. I know exactly what this tastes like. Yeah. Oily, a little starchy, really feel good meal. This is like the one Chinese food dish that I am like good to go eating it out of a container like this. Don't need any rice, don't need anything else with it. Honestly, not a ton of flavor. I guess you get a little bit from the, the carrots, uh, a little bit from the cabbage. It's very earthy. Got some salt, but like, it's really not much else is going on there. Now for the main event. I don't even know how I'm supposed to get into this. Comes with rice, first of all. Just white, plain white rice. Everybody's seen it before. And then you know, you know it and love it. Also comes with crispy wonton noodles. Which, you know, if you've ever had an Asian soup before, this is usually usually along alongside of it. And then it almost looks like a stew or something. You can kind of see all the bits in there. There is uh, some liquid, maybe a little more like a gravy. We're gonna get we're gonna get into it. Okay, very very vegetable. It smells pretty good. It's kind of like a, a chicken soup stock. It is chicken chow mein. Really earthy. You just smell like, I guess there's cabbage in there. It smells like a leafy green. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna pop a little white rice in here. All right, I apologize if you guys know how to eat this and I'm doing it incorrectly, you know. I'm just a white dude. All right, uh, let's dump some of this out onto here. All right, lots of onions. It's not really that appetizing. It's very, it's a very white dish. We got some cabbage, onions, sprouts, uh, chicken, obviously. But that, that looks like really all that, that's in there. I can't, I can't tell if anything's going on. I guess I'll put some noodles on here. Sorry, this video is getting a little bit long. It's, Try to speed it up. All right, so I'm gonna try to get a bite with a little bit of everything going on. Some veggies, some chicken, pop a fried noodle on there, some rice. I mean, it's good. 
definitely wouldn't be my go-to like Chinese food dish. It just kind of tastes like I put like a homemade weak chicken noodle soup on top of some white rice. These noodles are great in it. It's really the only textural element that I'm getting. Um, it feels pretty light. It almost feels healthy, especially compared to the, the lo mein, which is just absolutely slathered in oil. Um, yeah, it just seems like something that's been stewing for a while. Um, let's try to... I'm not the biggest cabbage fan, to be honest. It doesn't really do anything for me. I'd say that's about 50% of this meal. Yeah. The more cabbage I eat, the bigger the bigger bite I have of just the cabbage. It's pretty watery. Um, if I had to rate them, lo mein, 8 out of 10. Easy. All day. Chow mein, Six and a half, seven, maybe. Maybe if I had some other sauce, maybe I would put some soy sauce on here. It might brighten it up a little bit, but it mostly just feels kind of one dimensional. Yeah, well, that's it. Go to your local uh, corner Chinese food shop, try it out. Maybe there's a, a better version of this. Just one last, one last view of everything. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, please like, subscribe, tell your friends.